And I want to talk about it just for a moment. Brother Kenny was the writer that sat on the chili banks of Jordan. He began to write a song, and the song was entitled, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Yes. All of our sins and griefs to bear. What it is, privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. He didn't stop there, but he went on to write the lyrics of that song. He said, oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. It is all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. We arrived today in this wonderful trustee program and being able to see the manifestation of the Spirit of God moving in this house. I was just overwhelmed, as I told your pastor, it's a blessing be able to see somebody get happy off prayer. Yes, sir. It's such a blessing because many people pray, but they really are not praying. Yeah. They have a lot of words. They can say a lot of wonderful things, but sometimes you wonder, do it really go through the roof? Yeah. Move into the ceiling and to the eyes of the heart of God. Amen. There's more to prayer than just saying words. Right. More to prayer than just pulling a few words together and saying, uh, uh, Lord, watch over me tonight. Yes. Uh, it was more to prayer than just a saying something and sounding good, but yeah. really it is not coming from the heart of mankind. Uh, Jesus, when he talked about praying, Jesus was not playing around, but he was sincere because he understood the power of prayer. Yeah. We ought to understand it because if we need to bombard heaven and we need to go into the throne room of the Lord, we need to be able to call him and just tell him what we want. I mean, you can stand and you can say some wonderful words, but there are only some who can go behind the veil, go into the holies of holies, and begin to call on the name of Jesus. That's all right. When we're calling him, we have the authority to call him. Why? Because we have been saved, sanctified, filled with this precious Holy Ghost, and we have a right to call that name Jesus. Now, I don't know whether you understand it or not, but there is power in the name of Jesus. That's all right. When you begin to call that name, you can't call that name loosely and not feel something. And the way in the world, you can set calm when you call the name Jesus. Going on. Well, the Bible teaches us. The Bible says that at that name, every knee must bow. Going on. Must uh -huh. At the name of Jesus, even the demons in hell start trembling. Yes. At the name of Jesus. Going on now. The Lord tell your neighbor, you ought to try that name. You ought to try that name. And when you call that name, you have to be careful when you're calling it yes, through sir. prayer, yes. because God will answer prayer. Yes. Oh, have a witness in here without a shadow of a doubt that there's some stuff that you have prayed about and you have passed about and you have laid on your face and you believe God. Amen. And you had to wait and wrestle with him all night long, but you had in your spirit, I ain't gonna let you go until you bless my soul. I'm talking to some real folk in here. Well, going on. You understand that when you bombard heaven and yeah. look right there and say, God, I'm going to wait till my change comes. Yeah. Did you know that God will step in your mess? He'll step in your situation and turn that thing around. Yeah. I dare you to touch your neighbor for the second time and tell it to your neighbor, just pray about it. Yeah. You got to stop talking about it. You got to stop worrying about it. You got to be able to go down on your rusty knees and have a, a little talk with Boy, God. Yeah. Said, God. If you don't work this one out, it cannot be done. You do understand that there are some things that only God can do. There are some things that only God can fix. There are some people that only God can change. Uh, but when you pray and pray right, the Bible says uh, that if my people which are called by my name, uh, if they will just humble themselves, uh, pray and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin yes. and heal their land. Yes. I dare you to high five one more time and tell them pray about it. Pray about it. 
Going on. Going on. Going on. Going on. Here today that we deal with a woman that had a 900 spirit according to the Bible. She had a spirit of divination. This woman had a demon. She had something on the inside of her that she was able to tell the future. I mean, when you look at it, honey, there are a whole lot of folk that got something, but they don't have the real thing. Uh -huh. uh, that's why the people of God in the house of God, we can discern uh, imposters uh, versus those who are actually saved. Yes. Uh, so y'all get kind of quiet in here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because the Bible, the Bible tells us uh, that this woman had that divination spirit. She was going around beginning to announce the future of things that happened. Uh, and this man by the name of Paul. Somebody said Paul. Uh, understand, Paul was always Paul because when you understand Paul's life, Paul yep. had some oh. shortcomings too. Yes. We can't look at him funny because all of us got shortcomings. Short of the glory of yeah. God. The good thing about it, while Paul was on his way uh, down to the master's yeah. home known as Saul, uh, the Bible said that the Lord shined a light on him, uh, and immediately a change took place. Uh, my grandmama said it like this. My grandmama said, it's a bad wind that don't, don't ever change. change. Uh, I don't know if you sit beside a bad wind, but just look down your road and tell them, honey, you got something you need to work on. Uh, and if they look at you and say, no, I don't, you tell them the devil is alive, follow me to the altar. Because all of us have something uh, that we need to deal with. When you look at Paul's life, Paul goes on uh, a little deeper in the word by studying uh, to show himself approved. Uh, the Bible said that Paul writes now over half of the New Testament. But one thing I like about what Paul did, uh, he stopped in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 and dropped his testimony off. He dropped it off by saying, therefore, if any man be in Christ, they are a new creature. All things are passed away and behold, all things have become new. Yeah. This indicates to me that God can change your life. Yeah. God can change your whereabouts. God can Go change on, your mindset. God can change your atmosphere. Yeah. If you put God first and pray about it and let God handle his business, then God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ever think or ask. The text is clear in his proclamation here because when you read this text, Paul and Silas were on their way to the place called prayer. While they were on their way to the place called prayer, they began to deal with this woman that had that spirit. Now can I talk about a spirit sometime? Because you have to mind what you hang out with. Because everything that look good ain't good fun. And sometimes even in the house of God we think the call they got on makeup. We think that the call they got on a suit. We think the call they dress to kill that they are full of the Holy Ghost. You might want to cut the camera off on this one. Sometimes they are full of H-E-L-L yeah. and still trying to raise up the roof of the spirit realm. When the truth of the matter is, we have to be careful for the Bible said, know them that labor among the you. And we have to be careful to know what kind of spirit we are dealing with. That's all right. I tell you that the house of God nowadays are full of all kind of stuff. But we don't want them to leave. We want to cast some stuff out to be able to bring them closer to the Lord. Touch your neighbor quickly and say, neighbor, you got to pray about it. By the bottom of the Bible said that Paul and Silas was on their way to the place called prayer, uh, dealing with this woman, dealing with this psychic. Uh, and in the midst of them, Paul and Silas uh, began to call that spirit out of uh, that woman, uh, which landed them in jail. Yeah. Uh, 
somebody holler at midnight. At midnight. I didn't know about y'all, but I well, didn't get saved all my days. I didn't go clubbing until it was midnight. Are oh, y'all looking at me funny? Huh? Oh, I didn't drop it like it was hot until it was midnight. But I thank God, amen, that when midnight came, amen, a change took place. Right. Uh, the Bible, the Bible declared oh, no, that they were there at midnight. Yeah. Uh, in the midst of midnight, amen, Paul fell in his spirit. Uh, and we got to do something about this. Uh, we cannot be locked up in jail. Uh, but we got to get out of here uh, and continue to praise the name uh, of the Lord. Uh, the Bible said that at midnight, uh, they began to pray and uh, praise. Uh, now understand one thing. Uh, oh, no. Praise is one thing. Uh, but when you come out of praise, uh, you ought to be able to go into worship. Uh, uh, I just said something there. Uh, a lot of folk can praise God. Uh, we can go through the routine. Uh, stand up, sit down. Stand yeah. up, sit down. Uh, but honey, what can you do on your own? Uh, there ain't nobody around you. Yeah. Uh, can you lift your hand? Up and say, God, I just want to thank you for another day's journey. I ain't asking you for nothing. I don't need no car. I don't need no house. But every now and then, I just want to go down on the knees yes. and fall down on the face yes. and again to glorify God. Look at your neighbor. I thank for the fourth time. They tell that neighbor's a neighbor. There ought to be a time in your life when you don't ask God for nothing. You just lay on your Face. And say, Father, I stretch my yeah, hand to thee. Yeah. More than that I know. That thou will draw yeah. thyself from me. Brother, share I go. I heard the songwriter, he picked it up, Antoine, and he said, I came to Jesus just as I was. He said, I was weary, wounded, and sad, but I found in him a resting place. And the Lord had made me glad. Search your neighbor for the last time. And tell to neighbor, I've been through some storms in my life. In the midnight hour, only to find out that we can may endure just for a night. The joy gonna come in the morning. Anybody know that joy will come if you can make it through midnight. Tears in your eyes, crying day in, crying day out. Some way, somehow, you know that the Lord will make a way somehow. Can I get a witness? Clap your hands one time and give him praise. Well, the Bible said, while they were there in the midnight experience, Paul said, I got to pray, and I got to praise, but we going to worship. He said, and when we get through, God is going to do something on our behalf. Have you ever been in a situation when your God was going to get so long? You're about to lose your mind. But all of a oh, sudden, no. the word jumped in your spirit. They that wait on the Lord, He shall renew yeah. their strength. They shall mount up the wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Can I preach it for you? Ooh, the Bible says the Bible. They were praying while they were saying that something began to happen. It yeah. happened over here yeah. in St. Luke. Free will. That is said number two. Yeah. The power of the living God fell in the place. I dare you to trust somebody yeah. as your neighbor. Yeah. We want to feel the same power that they felt in the same if you can feel it in a jailhouse, I sure want to feel it in the house of God. Can I get a witness? Talk to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I want to feel the power of the 
you up to somebody quickly. I said, neighbor, can you touch and agree? With me right now, I need the power of the Holy Ghost. I need the power of the Holy Ghost. I need the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody tell them, work, 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 work,